Welcome to my channel. I don't do many updates on the car, video wise, anyways. Um, so I'll go ahead and give you guys an idea of what's going on now. Currently doing a 480E swap. This is a two wheel drive 480E out of an O2 two wheel drive truck. Uh, heads up. I heard that when you get a two-wheel drive vehicle or 480E and you got the bolt hole here in the end that you have to have a yoke with a counter bore on it, well, that doesn't seem to be the case. That's actually threaded all the way in, so I can get a slip yoke for that. Might have to cut it down to the proper length here. Went ahead and cut the wings off of it, or the ears anyway, grinded them down. Got some AN fittings for the cooler lines. It's a mess in here right now, but this is going to be the harness adapter. That end goes back into the transmission. This goes into the existing wire harness. Got a dipstick in there. And then I also got this here, which I got to pin it into the ECU never done this before so my first rodeo I suppose uh, here I got a it's a 34 to 3600 stall from Freak Show pretty cool guy knows his stuff Michael um, also Gonna be doing a battery relocation. Got this for 25 bucks at a uh, farm and fleet. Some oil for the converter anyway, just to get things started. Don't know if I have to or not, but figured it'd help. This is the car currently. Have a leak in the bottom, the back of the motor, uh, or the camshaft positioning sensor. These are tires I've ran all last summer I don't know if you guys will be, be able to see it here or not but last year I rode with a bubble did probably 300 or so passes and it tire finally went out when uh it was sitting over winter yeah pretty nasty stuff this is the car Pretty simple stuff. Gutted in the back. No cage. Intake. Professional products intake. The hood exhaust. Dump. Torque arm and cross member I got from Midwest Chassis. This here front bumper and that. The whole front clip actually is off a 99 Firebird. The core of the car is actually a 97 Firebird hardtop. If you watched my previous videos, you saw that it was actually T-tops. The car was originally a 96 Trans Am that I had swapped a 6 liter in and the 6 liter blue and the chassis was twisted. So, started with the new, new frame here, roller. The rear, <coughs> rear bumper and hatch and rear axle actually are all off the 96 Trans Am yeah this is a Cordova approved battery mount baby turbo on three performance no heat no AC no power steering just loop the lines over actually drives relatively well Got a Corvette uh, fuel filter regulator for that. My own catch can makeshift. Use some PVC and bed lining to coat it. Just have it tucked away. It's a rat's nest in there. This is it, man. Some dents, dents, dings, scratches. All the character you'll ever need in a race car.
as long as it's functional. Going forward, it's the old transmission 4060E. Burned up the third, fourth clutch on it. It's toast. Also, that cross member is for Midwest chassis as well. And here on the drive shaft, I'm going to have to pop this old yoke off and get a new slip yoke for the uh, for the 80E. need a 32 spline off a of TH400. Still getting that all figured out. See, that's the last thing i got to get for the car anyway. The old converters. That's the 80E converter. Compared to the 60E converter there. But this is it. If you guys want me to do more walk around videos, just let me know. Uh, I got any questions, just ask. I'll do what I can to keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Catch you later. Bye.